Eye on the Past is brought to you in part by Okies. On Halloween night in 1916, Prohibition began in Virginia, three years before National Prohibition. Of all the counties and cities in western Virginia, only one had remained wet, Roanoke. All others had adopted local prohibition prior to Virginia going dry. Roanoke was very wet, in fact. There were more saloons than churches in the city. On Salem Avenue alone, there were 28 bars. Roanoke was also known for its breweries and distilleries. The largest was the Virginia Brewing Company that shipped its beers to several states, a branch of the Robert Portner Brewing Company and the Casper Distillery also produced well-known brands. The day Prohibition took effect created what the local newspaper called a Mardi Gras-like atmosphere. The entire city police force was called up for duty and the jail was full by noon. The Norfolk and Western Railway Depot was swamped with passengers coming to Roanoke to buy what they could. By midnight on Halloween, all was eerily quiet. But many welcomed Prohibition, including the city's mayor, Charles Brown, who led a pro-temperance rally the next day to thunderous applause. The drought, as Prohibition was called by its critics, would last for 17 years. Eye on the Past is brought to you in part by Okies. She lived for 98 years. She touched a lot of lives and was part of so many memories. I needed to give her a special send-off to pay tribute to the love she shared with so many. I needed to be surrounded by friends and family. Okies helped me, and together we created a funeral that was not only worthy of this great woman, but in the end helped us all begin to grieve and say goodbye to Mom. Okies, tradition and innovation in funeral care.